welcome to this video from in 28 minutes thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms udemy safari and pact let's welcome our lead instructor rangarao karanam as in 28 minutes starts reaching 200,000 students we are proud to announce that we have a complete roadmap defined for Java developers to start with programming, to start with the basics of Java, to becoming an expert at microservices. So we have a complete roadmap defined to help you start with programming, understand what Spring and Spring Boot are, how do you build web services with them, and then also understand the microservices architecture. We have a roadmap which would help you to understand Spring, JPA, Maven and become good at unit testing as well with JUnit, Mockito and we also have stuff to help you to prepare for your interview with Java, Spring and a lot of material available on our YouTube channel. So we think this is kind of a complete package which can take a relatively young programmer who is starting off at the basic level in his career to become good at understanding what's happening in the industry today with microservices and becoming a great developer by writing great unit tests. Now, if you are a starting developer, where you started, if you have no programming experience, you would be starting at level one. You would start with focusing on learning Java. You would start with learning programming. You would start with learning object-oriented concepts. That's what the Java programming for complete beginners in 250 steps aims to provide. It is an amazing course. I don't know how long it would remain free, but it's an amazing course which will help you to learn Java 9 in a hands-on step-by-step approach. The course comes along with a free course guide as is the case with all the In 28 Minutes courses. There are more than 200 plus code examples that we would be writing during that course. It would help you to start your journey as a programmer. The second course in the basic series that we recommend is Spring Boot. The course is Learn Spring Boot in 100 Steps, Beginner to Expert. It helps you to become an expert on Spring Boot, understand everything about Spring Boot. It also gives you an introduction to the Spring Framework. We think you need to understand the basics of Spring Framework and focus on learning Spring Boot at the start. While getting an overview, while getting started, we think it's important to just have the basics of Spring and focus a lot on learning the magic of Spring Boot, things like auto configuration, Spring Initializer and startup projects. During this course, you'll also develop one web application and also one simple REST API. That would give you an awesome welcome into the world of developing web applications as well as web services with Java. You'll also be introduced to the basics of JPA and Hibernate. Once you have familiarity with developing a simple web application and simple REST API, we would recommend you to move into the world of microservices. We have an awesome course built called Master Microservices with Spring Boot and Spring Cloud. It helps you understand what is a RESTful service, what are the best practices in building RESTful services. How do you build great RESTful services with Spring Boot? And how do you make the microservices with all the features that are present in Spring Cloud? You will understand how to implement exception handling, validation, healthy OS, filtering for RESTful web services, as well as you will understand advanced microservices concepts like naming server, API gateways, distributed tracing, and a cloud config server. We think doing these three courses would give you a good overview of how things are done in the real world. It gives you an overview of the programming language. It gives you an overview of creating a web application, a simple web service API. You would learn the best practices behind creating RESTful services and you would move on to the microservices. This might be a little difficult journey, but I think it's great to get an overview of everything at the start. As part of the Spring Boot course, you would be introduced to Spring and JPA and also to Maven. The level two is where you dig in depth. Once you have an overview, you'd start going in depth and that's where the Spring course would be a great help for you. 
On the second page, you'd find a course called Spring. It's one of the first courses that we created and it's recently upgraded as well. You can see that it has about 8,000 reviews. I think this is a awesome course when you'd want to understand the Spring framework in depth. You'd want to understand what's happening behind the screens of Spring framework. You'd understand dependency injection, IOC container, application context, bean factory, and also the varied range of Spring annotations and when do you make use of them. It helps you to understand the Spring framework in depth. After that, we would recommend you to start understanding JPA in depth, JPA with Hibernate. And that's where we recommend the course Master Hibernate and JPA with Spring Boot in 100 steps. It helps you to understand the basics of JPA, Hibernate, and you'll also dig deep into all the different features of JPA. You'll understand JPQL, Criteria API, Native Queries, and you'll understand the varied kind of relationships, one-to-one, many-to-one, many-to-many. You'll understand how to tune JPA code. You would understand how to implement caching and a wide variety of other stuff. After that, we would recommend you to do the Maven course. Maven course is an awesome course to understand dependency management. Every project either uses Maven or Gradle. Understanding Maven makes it easy to understand Gradle as well. So in this course, you'll understand how to use Maven to manage dependencies. How do you create multi-module projects with Maven and understand best practices in Maven as well. Once you are familiar with Java, Spring Boot, microservices, and you have in-depth knowledge on Spring JPA Maven, we recommend you to focus on unit testing. One of the important things is you would have got a good introduction to unit testing during the courses on Spring Boot and Spring as well. So this is to take the unit testing the next level. You can skip the JUnit course, the JUnit 5 course, if you are already familiar with unit testing because that talks about the basics. So the learn Java unit testing with JUnit 5 in 20 steps is a basic level course that teaches unit testing. You can directly jump into Spring unit testing course. The master Java unit testing with Spring Boot and Mockito is an awesome course to write great unit tests and integration tests with Spring Boot Starter Test. You'll learn how to write unit tests with RESTful services. You'll learn how to write unit tests for data JPA code. You'll learn how to write unit tests using in-memory databases. And you'll also be introduced to the basics of Mockito. If you are really interested in getting deep, down and dirty with Mockito, this goes very deep into Mockito. It helps you to write mocks for different kind of scenarios as well as it goes into integrating Mockito with things like power mock and writing unit tests for private methods, for static methods, how do you mock constructors and wide variety of stuff. For most purposes, I think the master Java unit testing with Spring Boot and Mockito covers most of the scenarios. But if you are really interested in getting very deep into Mockito, then I would recommend you to go to the course, learn unit testing with JUnit and Mockito. Now, if you want to quickly review everything and prepare for an interview, we have courses for that as well. We have an awesome Java interview course with more than 200 plus interview questions and answers to revise all the stuff you have learned about Java. And same is the case with Spring Framework as well. We have an awesome Spring Framework interview guide, which is one of the best selling courses on Udemy to get prepared for your Spring interview. It covers Spring, Spring Boot, RESTful services, SOAP web services, and Spring MVC as well. It covers more than 200 important interview questions. We also have a number of YouTube videos talking about all the different things that might be interesting from an interview point of view and also from a design and architecture point of view. We have a lot of videos created on our YouTube channel on design and architecture as well as modern development practices. Agile and evolutionary design, what are non-functional requirements? What are design patterns? Should you really be an expert at all design patterns? What are the best practices in developing web services? What are four principles of simple design? What is DevOps? What is test driven development? What is static code analysis, coding standards, code quality, code review best practices? So all this stuff are present on our YouTube channel. And these are to help you to quickly get familiar with how things are done in the real world. In this video, we looked at all the stuff that we have created to make your life as a Java developer very, very easy. We would want you to start from programming. We would want to be able to create great APIs. We would want to be able to create great applications. 
you want you to be able to create great microservices and that's why we have this entire learning path created good luck and if you have any questions do remember to comment them down in 28 minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300000 learners across platforms like udemy safari online and packed we have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months the question is what do you want to learn next we are building solutions to help programmers at all levels you can learn programming with our awesome courses on java python and javascript you can learn full stack development with rest apis and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like spring boot node js react angular and spring cloud we have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect we have videos to help you learn frameworks industry trends including things like microservices learn the best practices in architecture design and code quality thanks for watching keep learning in 28 minutes